you're joining me for the very first time, welcome, so glad that you're here. My channel is all about if I could save you time, heartache, and money, that's what I would love to do. And I want to say boots are my number one type of shoe to buy. It's my favorite thing. I remember, and my family who knows me well, I have been a boot person and boot shopping since I was 16. And it all started because I used to go to New York all the time. And I used to go to New York for two things because I wanted like really different things that I couldn't find back at home. And if you used to shop the block that I did, that was in the village on West 8th Street. Across on one side of 6th Avenue, you had the shoe block. And on the other side of 6th Avenue, you had the Mac Cosmetics Store on Christopher Street. And that was the very first Mac store uh, in New York, period. And so the line used to be like wrapped around the corner and you were praying you could actually get into the store before they cut it off for the remaining of the day, especially driving all the way up there. But, um, but anyway, so that was just a reflection I think about like buying boots and how it, you can tell how excited I am. Okay, first one is this. I love, one of the favorite brands I love to buy is Prada. I can never go wrong, perfect size, 39 for me in Prada. These are a pair of over the knee boots that I bought last season. So it's like a really nice soft leather. So it goes right over to your ankle with no problem. It's really soft. And it's like it has a little two tone of like the brown and black. And I actually found these at the Prada store, ironically in New York. But I have on my white ATM uh, fitted shirt you guys know I've decided to wear my black y Yakimoto uh, dress that I got from Barney's last season I'll, I'll step back and show you that and then um, I'm gonna carry wear my Y3 ironically he also designs for uh, Y3 Adidas so I'm gonna wear my Y3 bomber jacket because it's super cold here today I am going to carry my new time for aviator glasses i thought it'd be nice and casual and then i'm going to carry my good old faithful stella mccartney backpack i have on my hermes uh uh stack here and oh yeah all hermes ironically ring bracelet and bracelet and then i don't remember who these hoops are by but anyway all right so boots 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 boots, boots. okay so that was the first pair of Prada. Second one I want to share with you is I wear these all the time. And these are like my version of a combat boot that I've been wearing now for two years. And these are by Givenchy. And you can still find these. They have a little buckle on the side, little suede tip there. And then it's an all nice uh, flat type of um, combat boot not too thick and it laces up really nice and you'll also find these I've seen them in two different versions so the leather lining like normal and then also I've seen it in a white shearling liner uh, it was on sale last year I almost got them just to get them because it was such a great price and I thought Jackie doesn't make any sense and they were black so I didn't get them but I recommend them if you find them if you find them on sale but specifically um, definitely get them and these were uh, true to size also so they run perfect whatever your size that you are love these boot number three I love these and I have been wearing these also since last year and that is Saint Laurent um, suede little ankle booty and these have like that little faint look of like that leopard you can see that um, these are a classic style though for Saint Laurent so if you do find these in the color that you like I definitely recommend them they're super super comfortable I just found that I can wear these with so many colors that I, I just absolutely love these boots so these were fine that I got two years ago and now I'm going to switch to, and I'll go back to some other designer stuff, but I want to share with you uh, three brands that I buy from other stores that are not sold in department stores. And I highly recommend them because they're really good quality and a really great price point. And the first one is the Shearling, like little ankle uh booties I think they call them like ski boots or something and these are by a brand called Vic Matai and I got these from a really good clothing a uh, really good shoe store in Philadelphia called Head Start anybody who lives in the area you know about Head Start Head Start is known for really good quality shoes and boots 
without they don't carry like the department store names they carry more italian names that are more unique and that you won't find every place and although they're unique great leather you're paying a third of the price than a designer name so which is why i love them so these came out last year they also come in black in this color and they actually bought them back out again this year so you'll find that head start has them and then i even saw them on some other websites but I was thinking about getting the black because they're just so comfortable. I absolutely love them. And so Vic Matai, definitely love it. Really good price point. I think like you can get them for like maybe like $200. Another one that, now I've had these from Head Start for many, many years. Now like there's different brands that actually like copy this whole zipper thing in the back. But um, this was like the first ones I had ever seen with this whole red zipper thing and um and this is by the brand called i think it was oh uh via roma and i want to say these are i don't know over 10 years old for sure but i still love them because they're nice and brown it's hard for me to find really like a rugged looking brown boot and so i love these and via roma but i will link the name below so if you do research and try to find other styles and where you can find them you know it's going to be a really nice great leather that will last you for a long time and at a really good price no matter where you find it another brand super soft leather you'll find is it inexpensive when you find it someplace i did get these from head start and i actually had these in the clip when i did the uh, devil wears prada like my whole breakout look when i had on the black when i had my leather pants on the inside these are actually the ones that i had on so they were uh, they're like a, a gray black tone trim and i've had these for over 10 years uh as well and this is by the brand called xo once again you're not going to find it in department stores you're going to find it more in, in more of a boutique type of shoe store but i even think when i got these i got these on sale like many years ago and they were just a few hundred dollars but the leather is so soft i don't know if like the brand like limit what stores and how many stores are allowed to have them in a state i think that may be the case because i don't really see this brand anyplace else um, in the Pennsylvania area so I think that may be like their rule or something so but um, but I'll link all the information below and where you could possibly find the brand and um, the name so you could look up other styles that you may like in your size so definitely recommend those now I'm gonna switch back to a couple of designer ones so let's switch to a black suede if you guys notice i do i don't know i know I, I was gonna say i have a lot of ankle boots but i i think i have a nice mixture so these are a pair of balenciago suede ankle booties that i got last year and they're definitely um you could definitely still find these even if you find these on sale um i think they even have these oh i think i saw these on somebody's site and they came in a pretty brown look really really nice so I think I actually went a size down in these. I went down a half a size in these. So I'm typically a 39 and I got these in a 38 and a half. So if that helps you, if you do go online and buy them someplace. But I absolutely love those. So those. And then I'll switch to something that I wear for like for more of a business, casual business look. And these are the Giovanni Rossi's. And I back got to Prada. These are probably my first pair, almost ankle combat boots. And I've had these now for a good five, six years. And even when I bought them, they were already pre-owned that I had gotten from a consignment store. So I love these. I don't even know like what name to tell you, but if I do come across them someplace like on eBay or something, I'll, I'll definitely like post it for you. But I absolutely love these. It's like more of like a high polished look ankle and like the and the chunky. But the difference is it's more of a pointy versus a, a rounded. So that would probably be the difference compared to like right now. And I think they still make like similar versions of this when you go into the Prada store. So but anyway, I love, 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 love these. Now, okay. A Givenchy pair. And... I don't think I'll share it with you guys either. I have all this stuff pulled out, but I actually keep all of my shoes and boots in containers. So I'll share with you a quick clip on how I do it. So as you can see from the long box, those are my boots. So I have at least two to three pair of boots in each of those boxes. And if I don't have them in those clear containers, then I still have them in their original container. So like the Givenchy ones, 
So these are another pair of over the knee boots, really nice soft leather. And the difference for these is they're more of a, a hard bottom. And then they have that chain detail that Givenchy came out with a few years ago. I love these two. I could have worn these today too, but I kind of think I wanted to, I'm going to be do a little bit more walking today. I'm going to take you guys with me. I have my dermatologist appointment as a follow up. I get my eyebrows done. So I have a few things that I'm going to be running around today. And so I thought I just want to keep my foot like really comfortable, casual. It's cold. So they're over the knee, but I kind of just like didn't want to wear sweats or anything. So that's why I kind of like I threw on the dress today so um, anyway so these are Giovanni's which I love and I've had these now for a, a couple of years also and I want to say what size oh these are a these are a complete whole size down so if you do come across these online someplace and actually I think I got these from like Farfetch or something but I did go a whole size down in these okay Giovanni's can't go wrong with all right now I'm gonna switch to one of the I don't really have a lot of heels because I don't know if you realize I can't walk in heels anything over two inches I just look absolutely ridiculous but these were the probably few pair that I do have that when I saw these when they came out like four or five years ago I have loved these every since and then when they went on sale about a year and a half ago, I snagged them up and I'm able to walk in them, but this is absolutely the highest that I could possibly walk in. And I got these, as you can see, I haven't even worn them yet, which shows you guys, I guess maybe I don't really go anywhere that warrants wearing heels or I don't know, but I haven't worn them yet, but I know I will. And this look is still out by Louis Vuitton. I think they even bought this color back with some other beautiful colors that like green and black. So this is definitely a classic by Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Let me get that right. And uh, so I love these. And so, but this is like the one pair that I thought like in the winter time I could wear it like with dress. I could wear it leggings or anything like that. And so this would be the one pair. If I go anywhere and do anything, it will be these. All right. Now. The trendy pair. That's why I like was agonizing when I did the video and said, you guys tell me what you think because I typically don't do a large investment as a trend look. And you guys all unanimously said, no, keep those boots because you know how much these things are. And so I did keep them. So this is probably my most trendiest type of boot that I own uh, because of how thick the uh, the heel is. I don't mind like the whole combat look and the most, can I tell you the favorite thing I love about these boots if you're considering it, I love the long leg. I think that's what I like the most because most of my boots are either like tall or they're like ankle boots. And so this is a really nice really nice compromise if you want to wear your pants on the inside if you're wearing like sweatpants and kind of like billing over the sides if um you're wearing it with a dress i just really think that it's such a, a nice boot um the only drawback is it is a little heavier on the bottom um not so much where it would like bother me so much but if you are considering it definitely is a little bottom heavy because of how thick the uh the sole is but i think they're absolutely beautiful boots i love the the finish on the leather of them and once again i said my favorite thing is just how long and lean um and i actually like i told you guys in the video i don't have the the pouches on there like if anything i may have like one pouch on it at a time but um but i, I probably won't be wearing both pouches but at least it gives you option one says prada and the other pouch is plain which i think is great and i got these from sax because i think sax is one of the few that designed them that way where you get them from other sites both of the pouches are plain so i did that research too as well so if you want the name on it definitely go after sax because i don't know if all the sites have the name on the pouch. let me just show you what i mean let me just show you so this is the bigger one and this is a smaller one. So when you have them on the leg, so this one is where they generally had at the top and this is the one at the bottom. And so when you buy them from Saks, this is how you're gonna receive it. But if you buy it from other sites, both pouches may be plain. So just to kind of give you an idea if that determines where you wanna order them from moving forward. So I just wanted to share that little tip with you. And 
Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to, I have just a couple more because I promise I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, so here is, I have had these for many years. I love, 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 love these. And these are another great brand to buy and that is Jill Sander. I love Jill Sander clothes. I love the shoes. I just love the sim simplicity of Jill Sander where everything that she makes is like a clean, minimalistic lines but with fantastic quality and a classic style that you'll have for many years so i do have a few clothing and coats by jill but um but if i ever snag like a shoes and i do have some sandals by her i, I absolutely love it and i like i said these are like this like really nice flat um boots and then it's like this little side little slit opening there i just love these and I almost was gonna wear these today too, but I just figured I'd just wear the, the Prada um, over the knee boots because of how cold it is. But I love these, Jill Sander. Definitely recommend that brand as well. Now, here is what I wanna share. I think that's all the boots I wanna share with you guys because I have over 30 pair and I didn't want this video to be too long. So, here's the thing. These boots. Do I keep these or do I donate these or do I sell these? This style has been in and out for many years. I bought these over 20 years ago. And every time I think I'm like gonna like donate them, sell them, um, and then I'll see something on somebody's site or something and they're selling the same look. I'm like, really? So then I put them back in storage. I have not worn them in many years. I did wear them at one point when I uh, was wearing them a long time ago but the heel is like a perfect heel like I said it's something I can walk in but I don't know what do you guys think do I keep this do I keep these sell these donate these what do I do with these I don't know what to do but I just love the color and the stitching and they're over yeah I don't know they're definitely over 20 years old so that just goes to show you how things just Come, come in style, go back out, but when you buy something that you love, that you'll plan to have a long time, it doesn't matter what other people think. Buy what you want, buy what you love, buy what put a smile on your face, because at the end of the day, you're paying for it, you gotta wear it. And I definitely took heed of that when you guys gave me all that great feedback about those Prada monolith boots, so I really appreciate that. So, um, that is my boot collection. I may do a part two. I don't know. I may do a part two because I still have quite a few more favorite ones that I love. Because I love boots. Have I said that already? I love boots. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I can't wait to see you guys in a few days. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful, safe day. And I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.